This is Virgin from Balsamic, and today I want to talk to you about a great video that we found. It's made by Tara, who is wireframing an app using our tool. Tara, we wanted to make this video and share some tips and tricks with you, so that next time you need to design an app, you'd be even faster. Let's dive in! Hi everyone! In this video, I will talk about the app idea I selected last time. I will also design a prototype of the idea in a software called Balsamic. Let's get started. There. Now I'll go to click out again and I'll put in text. There's one of text. I'll click that. I'll put it down here. Double click it. Then I'll write home. It's really big. I have to make it like size 16. Map to equal it out. So instead of using a line of text, which requires you to make a bunch of edits because it's basically meant to be a placeholder, in your case, you know the text. So you could use a label control instead and press enter to edit your text. You can make it a size 16. So as you can see, it's already other side, so you don't need to touch it. And then you can place it wherever you want. Now to do it again. Now I'm on text, and now I'll make a bow. It's also still big, which is annoying. I have to make it size 16. And make it the exact same size. So here is another quick tip to make more controls that are the exact same size. You could select this one and press Ctrl or Command D for duplicating. We place this one and we press Ctrl or Command D again. And then all we need to do is rename those. Learn and about. Yes, I know you're right. And there we go. So since it's a yak, I'll make it a brown a brown yak. Because it's a brown yak. <laughs> So big. I have to make it like size 20. Yep, yeah, that's good. Now I'll go back to quick add and put a block of text. Yeah, block of text. Double click it. Okay, now I'm done that. Um, Oh god, it's so long time. Okay, okay, I'll make it 16. Oh, it's so big. Okay. Let's up here. Okay, so once again, let's see if we can speed up things a little bit. So, what you want after you, you've added your image is a title. So, let's reuse this one by using Ctrl or Command D. And put it right there. And so this is a brown yak. Okay, and then we need the, the text control. So what we want to do is duplicate this one once again. And let's just use this little arrow right here to change it and transform it to a text control. Once we've done that, we can simply um, change the text with ours. And there we go. And because you want to separate it then, let's duplicate this one because it's already at the right size. Here we are. I'm going to grab another text and click that. Mine text. I'm going to double click it. Okay, now I'm going to get a block. 
beautiful text. Okay, a block of text. So basically the next section that you have is using the exact same layout as the first elements. So let's just select those three and press Ctrl or Command G to group them. Now the good thing about grouping is that it's really easier when you need to move controls around because they, they always stick together. Okay. So let's now press Ctrl or Command D again to duplicate them and place them right underneath. And now let's double click to enter the group and change a few things there. So that's a prayer wheel. And we want to change the title too. And then we want to change this guy. There we go. So we just double click around and we go back to the screen. Bye. Hey Tara, thanks again for your video. That was awesome. So we hope those little tips and tricks are useful for you and for everyone watching this video. And keep fireframing your great ideas. Bye friends.